Hi, this is Chris Miller, and you're watching Kink FM in the Skype live studio. Hey, how you doing? Good. <laughs> That's good, man. I'm good. We were talking about we were talking backstage a couple minutes ago. It was a lo- it was a long winter for you. Yeah, it was. Man, it was bad. Because home is uh, just outside of Boston. Well, no, no, I live in the western part of Massachusetts. Oh, okay. But, you know, as distances go out here, that's not very far. It's yeah. About hundred miles. You know. <laughs> you said it was like it was barely above twenty. Yeah, uh, for months at a time. Months. <laughs> that was ridiculous. We were a hundred and ten inches of snow or something. Yeah. Like that. It was amazing. We could use some of that. Yeah. Yeah, I could share you a little bit. You can have it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take to writing during that time? Is that? I should have, but I didn't. You know. I... <laughs> That's too busy shoveling, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, so you released this album last year, still on the levy. Yeah. Retrospective, fifty mm. years. Fifty years I've been writing songs of yeah. making music, man. Yeah. When you think about that, when you say it in that context, does it feel like it's been fifty years? I'm reminded of one time when I when I was about twenty five or thirty, and I asked my father. I said, "How long does it seem?" since you were this age. Yeah. And he looked at me and he went, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's how, that's how long it seems. You know, it just, I, you know, if I sit and think about all the things that have happened and sort of go back and I can realize it's been a long time, but, you know, it seems like yesterday in a lot of respects, you know, it's just, so many things have changed, you know, everything in the music business is uh, very different, you know. The digital age changed everything, yeah. and uh, and mostly for the better, I think. You know, but uh, you get a lot of arguments about that. But you know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the, the blessing whole, and the curse. On right. the whole, though, you know, it's just, it's been great to see. You know, and it's been good to me. You know, I I get to do what I like to do. Yeah. And, your dad gave you your first guitar. Do you he remember? Did. Do yes, you remember that? Did. I do. Oh God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought. <clears throat> I thought he would never get over regretting it. You know, <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> he finally did, you know, but he, you know, it was sort of like, what have I done, you know, this monster I've created? You know, my dad was an academic, and I think he kind of expected, I mean, I, I expected myself to be an academician myself, you know, yeah. I was going to be in a university career of some sort, and, and um, nobody was more surprised than I was when, I wound up doing what I do now. I didn't plan on it. Yeah. You, you, and so your dad was, uh, he taught at Tulane, right? That's right. And then you came up in New Orleans. Yeah. And then said, uh, that's enough of this place. I'm going I'm going north. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a strange thing. People always look at me kind of cross-eyed when I say, well, I left New Orleans because I wanted to go play music. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. You know, just, <laughs> weren't you there, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, I said, um, but it was really the wrong kind of music, you know. It was... Uh, I was into, at that time, I was totally into old uh, country blues and uh, people like uh, Skip James and Robert Johnson, mm-hmm. Sunhouse, and um, and everybody was just, they, they couldn't understand why I was interested in that. They'd say, well, that's quaint, Chris. You know, <laughs> what are you going to do for a living? Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, so. But then you took back, you moved out, and then you just you came back, and you said to spent the most time that you spent in New Orleans since you moved out to make this last record. That's right. The one, most most time, in, in, at least in one stretch, yeah. It was, a, well, it was three weeks, you know, close to a month. Um, and it was fun. It was really, it was a lot of fun, you know. I, I, I got really sort of into it, you know, and, and uh, back into the neighborhoods, you know. And there's something, there's, there's so many things about New Orleans that are great, you know, being able to... You just walk down the street, and if you're hungry, you stop in any little hole in the wall, and it's going to be great. Yeah. Great food. Yeah. You know, great ambiance, you know. With the old stomach grounds, did it, did it take a while to get comfortable, or just... You, you... Not really, you know. It, there's a, uh, it took me a while to remember a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, all, it, it would all start to seep back in, you know, but I was comfortable from the get-go, you know. We, yeah. we were working and making music, you know, and that's almost the same everywhere, you know, that you go as long as you've got, you know, good people around you. Know. It was mostly in a studio. It was outside of the studio that, that it was... Um, <clears throat> I sort of had to get back into things, you know. And, hey, my producer... <clears throat> um, 
uh, Goody, David Goodrich, would always ask me, you know, how come you do this? How come you? Do? He's always asking me things about my style. And he's he's an unbelievable musician himself, you know. But uh, I have a hard time answering him because I'm I'm basically self-taught. I'm not what you call an educated musician, and. Um, and so I would have a hard time telling him why I do these things or even understanding his questions about why rhythmically I do things the way I do. And then he would go out at night. We would usually we would work all day. We didn't work at night in the studio, and he would go out and listen to people. And about the third day, he came back and he says, everybody in this town sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you so much. For coming in today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Truly. I'm going to shut up. We'll let you play some more. Chris Smither, everybody. Put your hands together.